At at least one Wall Street bank this summer, pinstripes are out and pullovers are in. In a break from tradition, J.P. Morgan, the largest U.S. bank by assets, is loosening its dress code to allow business casual. Joining us with more details is Wall Street Journal reporter Emily Glazer. Emily, great to see you. Thank you. So this is kind of a big deal for Wall Street. I mean, this is the last bastion of formal workwear. Absolutely. They're used to pinstripe suits, ties, you know, lace-up shoes, the whole shebang, and this is changing. So what are we talking about here exactly because business casual is sort of a vague term, correct? Absolutely. So what is allowed? Under so this? there's a little bit of a gray area here. Some of JP Morgan's offices, especially those that had technology or people who worked on the digital side, were already pretty casual. Mm -hmm. So what's allowed now for everybody are things like khakis and polo shirts for men or capris even and blouses for women. Wow. Uh, jeans is like a little bit iffy. If your manager already allows it and some sites do, then you can. But for everybody else, it is definitely a no-no. I mean, we've seen, you know, J.P. Morgan CEO, J.B. Diamond, even without a tie. That's his usual look, right? Absolutely. Unless he has meetings, see him often without a tie. And on his shareholder letter two years ago, they had him wearing jeans, which raised a lot of eyebrows. Because jeans still aren't allowed, correct? Yes. This is the world of banking. I mean, again, yeah. unless you there's a specific site where the manager already allows it, like people who work on the digital part of J.P. Morgan in San Francisco, yes. they wear jeans and sneakers. And that's also the space they work in. There Everyone was a else. there was a memo sent out saying business casual is not weekend casual and if you're seeing a client you should dress for that client. Exactly. Correct? So weekend casual means flip-flops and jeans and stuff, you know, sundresses. That's still Yeah, memo, no right? halter tops they okay, said. No there is uh, frequently asked questions so they do spell out, you know, and no rips in clothing. You can't wear clothing that's too loose or clothing that's too tight. Right. right. No crop tops, you know, the list goes on and no on. No workout so. wear, you can't wear your leggings. Right. No <laughs> yoga pants here. This is still yeah. a bank. <laughs> and no tattoos visible? No visible tattoos. Okay. And that's pretty standard yeah. across other companies that have more casual workwear environments. No flip-flops, no tattoos, no pajamas. I mean, you'd be surprised how many things that banks or that other list. companies have to spell out. Have other banks loosened their dress codes as well? A little bit. Uh, Barclays loosened up a little bit a couple years ago, but then last year sent out another memo saying, just in case you didn't know, no flip-flops at headquarters. <laughs> no flip-flops, especially not without a pedicure, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, thank you, Emily, for that. Thank you.